what I'm trying to do is to create some kind of an organic sense of the music kind of playing itself. And I think that a, a really good Beethoven performance is such where you don't much think about the so-called interpretation. You, you, you just think, okay, the music goes like this and it seems to be coherent and, and it seems to be natural. I do believe that when you hear a contemporary piece next to a Beethoven symphony, it kind of helps both. It helps us to understand where we came from, but also it helps us to understand what exactly the journey was. So it actually gi gives a lot of programmatic freedom because you can juxtapose very different kinds of pieces with, with Beethoven and it still works. <laughs> It's really fascinating because, of course, the, the Philharmonia tradition comes from Karajan and, and Furtwängler and Klemper, of course. However, many of the younger players have been playing with early music ensembles. And for a British orchestral player, the, the idea of playing in, or at least relating to a sort of period style, is totally normal. And yet, somewhere uh, deep down, you can hear the sort of a very sort of German, uh, rich, bass-heavy, uh, basic orchestral sound of, of Karajan and, and Klemper, and, and I, I, I find this absolutely fascinating. <laughs> My fear, worst fear actually in terms of this art form, is that, you know, every day that goes by, um, the distance between say Beethoven and ourselves becomes a bit longer. Will there be a, a day when all this stuff, the Beethoven symphonies, will be irrelevant? I don't want to witness that day. So you introduce new works to the repertoire, you commission new work from contemporary composers, you nurture the audience's ability to, to understand new work and, and support it. And by doing this, we have this sort of continuous link between the masterpieces of the past and the music of today. Mm -hmm.